All right, so here we're going to be looking at the heart anatomy. Starting at the external areas here, we can see some of the great vessels. We have the superior vena cava attaching to the right atrium. We have the aorta and aortic arch forming. We see the pulmonary trunk leading to the left pulmonary artery. The right pulmonary artery is located back here. Then we see the pulmonary veins. We have the left pulmonary veins attaching to the left atrium. The right pulmonary veins would come back here and attach to the posterior side of the left atrium. Now looking at the front of the heart again, we can see the auricles, these little variegated edges, and we can see some of these coronary arteries and coronary veins. Now, Looking at the right side, okay, we have the right coronary artery coming out and wrapping around the right atrium. We see these little branches coming off here. These are all marginal arteries, okay, marginal branches or marginal arteries coming to the right ventricle. Over here on the left side, we can see the left, the left coronary artery coming out before it bifurcates. Now, it comes off the aorta, but it goes behind the pulmonary trunk. We only see a very small pit of it, a bit of it right here before it bifurcates. Okay, now when it bifurcates, it becomes the anterior descending and the circumflex, which wraps around and then descends, descends along the left side of your left ventricle. Now, the veins on the front of the heart here, we have this small one right here known as the anterior cardiac vein. Down along the side of your right ventricle, we have the small cardiac vein that goes around behind the heart. And then we have the great cardiac vein coming up here and then wrapping around behind the heart as well. Now, <clears throat> if we look at the posterior side of the heart, Okay, so here we can see the circumflex artery wrapping around and then going down. Next to it is the posterior cardiac vein. Now this is going to come up and attach to the coronary sinus. Okay, so this large giant venous sinus here is the coronary sinus. All right, here we see the middle cardiac vein side by side, the posterior descending artery. Okay, so this big vessel coming around is the right coronary and then it goes down basically right in line with your inferior vena cava. So here's the inferior vena cava. And so right basically inferior to that is going to be your middle cardiac vein and your posterior descending artery. Now, when we look at a different heart, we can see a little bit different presentation. The small, I mean, the anterior cardiac vein is a little bit more pronounced on this one. The small cardiac vein is still located in the kind of edge of your right ventricle and wraps down and around. We have marginal branches. We have the right coronary wrapping around there. On this one, we do not see the bifurcation. We only see the anterior descending. And then we can see the circumflex coming out and then down around the side. Here's the great coronary artery. Uh, I'm sorry, the anterior descending artery and next to it, the great cardiac vein, okay? we do not see the left coronary on here. It's hidden behind the auricle and the pulmonary trunk. Now if we look inside, we can see this fossa ovalis, this indentation that used to be the foramen ovale. Now this opening right here, this is the opening of the coronary sinus. Okay, Here we can see the chordae tendinae, the papillary muscles, the thick flap, that is the valve. That's going to be your tricuspid valve. Here we can see the pulmonary valve. We can see the interventricular septum. We can see the pink endocardium. We can see the myocardium, the apex. Inside the left ventricle, we can see the chordae tendinae and papillary muscles again. But again, that thick flap, that is going to be the mitral valve. The mitral valve is the solid portion, the strings are the chordae. Way up inside, we're going we're to see the 
aortic valve. Okay. Now, some of the other structures that we see on the outside, we have the three branches here, brachycephalic trunk, left common carotid, left subclavian. On this heart model, they're very pronounced. So we can see the brachycephalic trunk coming up and then bifurcating into the right subclavian and right common carotid. Here's the left common carotid, left subclavian. This right here is the ligamentum arteriosum. Now on the posterior side, <clears throat> all right, so right in here we can see the azygos vein. So there's that little azygos vein coming out the back of the superior vena cava. Now, epicardium is just the covering of the heart, right? So all of it could be covered by epicardium, all right, which is the visceral pericardium. So that would be the external layer. All right, so that should be all of the structures that we need to see on the heart. Um, again, pulmonary trunk, left pulmonary artery, left pulmonary veins. Okay, so here's the right pulmonary artery, right pulmonary veins, okay, left atrium. Okay, that should be it.